Are you interested in taking action for social justice? The world needs each citizen's time, talent, and treasure. When there are problems or challenges, we can each take responsibility. Our life's work is developing our unique contributions to the world. Learning to Give is a free online resource to help give youth practice making a positive community. Let's start with some definitions. What is social justice? Social justice is the view that everyone deserves equal economic, political, and social rights and opportunities. It also means working to change things if some people don't receive equal access to these rights. This is called advancing social justice and everyone can do so. When talking about difficult or sensitive topics, here are some ground rules. Remember, these subjects are controversial. These subjects are complex and involved. And even this presentation is subject to debate and different interpretations. What is ultimately important is engaging in social justice dialogue within our spheres of influence in order to make the world a better place. Let's start with some categories of groups that uh, receive unjust treatment. First of all, there's gender. Advancing social justice related to gender means working for equal access to women or people who are gender fluid or transgender. As, uh, social justice related to social sexual orientation seeks to reduce discrimination and the stigma of people based on who they are attracted to. There is also discrimination against a particular age group, which is especially the elderly, but can show up in discrimination against young people as well. Race is the idea that the human species is divided into distinct groups on the basis of inherited physical and behavioral differences. Racism is a belief that differences are superior or inferior. Ethnicity is, is defined as a large group of people who have the same national, racial, or cultural origins, or the state of belonging to such a group. Um, ethnocentrism is when evaluates other cu cultures um, according to preconceptions and believing that um, one is superior over another. And xenophobia is a fear and hatred of strangers or foreigners or of anything that is strange or foreign. Some religions, especially those that are minority religions, have been subject to mistreatment. Anti-Semitism is a term that connotes a certain perception of Jews. Uh, it may be expressed as hatred toward Jews. Um, other religions have been discriminated in times of crisis. Our cultural identity is made up of our customs, belief, and different characteristics that we have just described. Another area where people have been discriminated against is their differently abledness. We may be differently abled in our physical characteristics, sight, um, language, hearing, um, mental capacity, and so on. Some of these are seen, seen as disabilities and some of these are seen as superpowers. Social justice is an essential part of who we are as U.S. citizens. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the law. This is in our law and we must enforce it and adhere to it. 
We have to believe in one simple truth to engage in social justice work, and that is everyone deserves equal or equitable access to the rights we're given as American citizens. And it's our responsibility to speak up when we see injustice. First, before you speak up, ask yourself what's in your sphere of influence. It is in my control to change my knowledge, my words, and my actions. It is in my area of influence to model respect and share stories. It's not in my control to change other thoughts or behavior. And if that's my goal, I'll feel angry and bitter and helpless. Now, just because you are young, it doesn't mean you don't have influence. You can lead by example, by treating people in a way consistent with jo social justice, with respect. You can contribute your time, talent, and treasure to help a cause committed to social justice at your school and in your community. You can become part of a larger group committed to social justice. There's strength in numbers. Embrace what you can change and avoid matters that are outside your sphere of influence. You can search for social justice lessons and resources on learningtogive.org. 